Uh, well... Okay... I don't think I know how to react to that, but... I don't think it should be killing your siblings, honey. Don't you think that's a bit... excessive? Well, if you seem to be in a feud with one of your brothers or sisters again, then you can talk it out with them, right? Well, even so, you should not resort to violence. That's wrong. So, don't do this again, because if you do do this again, then I'll have to, well, I'll have to set you up for adoption. So, you want to do this again now? Okay. Goodbye. So, I guess you didn't have to say anything to me after all, Ray. You can go. Well, I don't know. Mom, how do you still not believe me when I say that I didn't? kill Emma. The listener literally said that they did. I don't think listener would go to such measures. You didn't think I would go to such measures. Yet I did anyway. That's different. She spent a few seconds trying to think of that. <clears throat> what do you mean that's different? Ooh. Nothing. So, are you going to go, or are you going to stay here? Do you have something else you want to talk about? Uh, n no, I'm good. Okay. Very out of hand. I don't 
even think that I don't know maybe that when you trust me I don't even think that mother trusts me anymore at all He would have used the term mom if he were more casual with her. For some reason. Oh my god, my cat's walking by. Hello? Okay, you can go shower. Um, but yeah, um, but for some reason, he just didn't like using the term mom and preferred mother. Um, stop, stop, stop rubbing off the box for one second. <laughs> can you do that? Well, of course you can't do a cat. <laughs> Sorry, that's my cat. Um, yeah. Yeah, he just didn't like the term mom. Oh, listener, over here. Hey, listener, um. Yeah, so. About what you said. I was going to take the blame for you. Why didn't you want me to do that? What? Because you didn't want me to get shipped out? Honey, I would have been fine with getting shipped out. Well, for as long as you're protected, that's all I need. I had done what I'd done in the first place. To protect you. But very clearly, you think that you can be fine on your own. I'm not saying you're incompetent without me, but I am saying that. Can you help me out? I'm trying to record a video. Bitch. <laughs> As I was saying, oh my god, can you be quiet? Be quiet, please. But you. Yeah, I just need you to be protected. I don't care about my own life. I don't care about risking my own life if it means saving yours. I swear to God. First you're meowing and now you're playing with a pencil. Who oh, don't chew that? Don't chew that. You can't do that. No. Do you understand, listener? I... I swear to God. What did I say? <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat's being a menace. He doesn't mean to, though. Anyway... Stop playing with the pencil. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll have to restart that again. I don't care about risking my life if it means saving yours. Yeah. 
I... I don't care. I just want to protect you. I want to protect you from everything. Everything that could ever hurt you. One of the other... De one of the demons... Our... Our siblings... Anybody. Because... You're the only you that I can get. And I don't think that I'll ever be able to find anybody like you. That just won't happen. No. That just can't happen. Well, it can't happen. Because, because you're the only you that I can have. And if it means that you'll be safe, then, then I'd do anything for you. I'd even... I'd even volunteer myself to the demons if it meant that you could stay alive. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, listener. I started crying. I don't think my fake crying is good. Yeah, I know. I know. It's... I just... can't. I can't think about not having you because I'm too used to you being right by my side all the time. Well, you've always been there. Ever since we were little kids. No. Ever since we were babies. We would always be there for me. Of course, you had that similar relationship with Mormon, but... For some reason, I couldn't imagine you being with him. And so when you were with him for that amount of time, for two months, you were with him and you, you just, you just seemed like you loved him and it broke my heart. I don't want that you left to someone else. That wasn't me. So, what do I do with that sort of information? I mean, anyway, I'm sorry. I really just started crying. Just. I just can't imagine you being gone. I want to be able to protect you. No, I'm, I am able to protect you. At least, if I can. If I can do something, then I, I'll do it for you.